Well, hello again, and welcome to the VK6CS Fun with Amateur Radio channel. Um, I can't remember if I showed you this before, but I was. Uh, I thought, well, I need to wind up a choke to stick across the output of my GS35B amplifier, you know, just in case the DC blocking capacitor between the valve anode and the tank circuit goes short. I don't want uh, all that high voltage uh, going up the uh, uh, going up the antenna or going out to the automatic automatic antenna tuner. Although, having said that. Um, there are uh, capacitors, of course, to block the DC that goes down the uh, the coax to the automatic ATU. So they're high voltage uh, disc ceramics, and uh, they may very well protect the auto tuner and um, stop any high volts uh, getting onto the antenna. But just in case, it's a good idea to stick an RF choke across the output of the amplifier. So I thought, okay, I'll wind one up. So I've got four bits of ferrite from JCAR, put a bit of heat shrink sleeving over it. And I thought, oh, it just fits nicely into one of these um, one of these capacitor holders. It'd make a nice thing just to screw to the chassis. Um, and uh, so, four of those, bit of heat shrink over it, wound a few turns on it for the for the length of the thing. And uh, thought, okay, well, let's just see what the inductance is. So let's just calibrate that. There we are. That's zero. You can see that zero microhenries. So let's hook that on. I'm leaning around the camera here, so again, the shaking has got nothing to do with any kind of withdrawal symptoms. Honest officer. Right, now, so there we are, 173.2 microhenries. Now, you would think 173.2 microhenries would be uh, more than enough. Now, um, I do actually want, I want to try this uh, GS35B amplifier on 6 metres as well. I want to see if I can get it to do 160 through to 6. So uh, anyway, I thought, well, you know, 160 through to 10 at the very least. But let's just see um, how, or let's just see if that choke has any nasty resonances in it that are going to, that could potentially cause a problem. I don't know what's happened to the sound on this camera, actually. It used to be a lot better than it is. I've noticed on a couple of the recent videos that the, the audio is really quite low. It's not very good. It used to be uh, it used to be a lot better, so I don't quite know what's happened to this thing. All right, so let's... Uh, so if I put that in there, like that, like that in there, like that, and tighten that up. I can then connect that to the FG01 antenna analyzer and see if there's any nasty, see if there's any frequencies that it quite likes and it might actually give us a, might sort of compromise the output of the amplifier. So it's on 14.2 megs at the moment, you can see there's nothing there. So let's just uh, let's open that up to 50 meg bandwidth. Okay, so the sweep width now is 50 megs across here, and we can see that there's a little there's a little area here um, where it could cause us a problem. So I'll just see what um, what frequency that is. Mm -hmm. So 24.2 megs. So if I used it on 24 megs, I think we've got 24 meg band, haven't we? Let's just uh, change that bandwidth. Okay, that's 10 megs. So if I go back to there, so from... Well, let's... Uh, Let's say from 21.5, if you can see that, can you? 21.5 megs. It starts having, there we go. So I mean that's still 3.6 to 1 and 178 ohms, but 
you know, it'd be nicer if it was off the scale like the rest of the response. So right up to there. And there we go. So it could have a bit of an effect from 20 from 27.3. To, what's that? Uh, 21.7. Probably wouldn't ever use it within there, but um, I need to get rid of that. So, uh, is that a curiosity? I go to there and then go. Um, no, that's right. And then just go up here. Suppose I wanted to use it on 6 meters. How does it look on 50 megs? Yeah, it looks okay, doesn't it? No problem there. About 60 megs. And just a little bit of... That's where it runs out of puff there. It only goes up to... Uh, oh, it's actually gone up to 71.7 megs. It says 1 to 60 megs on the on the thing. But the later version of this, it says 1 to 70 megs. Perhaps they found out it actually goes up to there. But i um, certainly not interested in that. That's not going to affect anything I'm doing. Um, that needs to be gotten rid of. Uh, and go all the way back down to... Uh, is that something there? No. Nothing on 40. Nothing on 80. Nothing on top band. Nothing on medium wave. Not that it would ever end up on medium wave, of course. But, um... <laughs> uh, yeah, OK. So I hope you found that interesting. So if you're going to wind any chokes, either for the valve anodes, um, or for the um, uh, to put across the output of the amplifier uh, uh, it's always worth having a quick look at the response just to see if you get any funny resonances in the chokes which might make them burn um, you know certainly you wouldn't want uh, any nice big dips in the middle of 80 meters or 20 meters or anywhere where you might be uh, might be thinking of operating um, this is okay on 20 um, it's okay on 40 meters it's OK on 80, it's OK on top band. So it's only going to potentially have an effect up here. So, uh, yeah, 24.4. It uh, looks like it could potentially uh, cause uh, cause a problem. So I'll have to do something about that so that it doesn't uh, doesn't appear to have any any resonances anywhere in the uh, in the band of frequencies that I'm interested in using. So that's just having a very quick look at a choke I wound up to stick across the output of the GS35 amp. Um, hope you found that interesting. As always, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.